Welcome to the Labory video training series. In this installment, we will demonstrate the Portascan 3D ultrasound system. Hello, I'm Mark Sapsford with Labory Medical Technologies. Today I'll be showing you the Portascan 3D ultrasound system. This is the system which is very portable and compact, very simple to use. Its primary function is to do PVR scans post Euroflow. What you'll find is the system will turn on very simply, uh, uses battery power so it's completely portable, turns on and boots in about 10 to 15 seconds to enable you to start scanning. At that time you have a probe that's conveniently held in the holder, 2.5 megahertz probe, now you're ready to start your scanning. Now that we have turned the machine on, there are a few features that I would like to show you. The first, as you notice at the bottom of the screen, there are multiple buttons. If you click on the patient button, it allows you to enter the patient name, ID, age, and the sex of the patient. Enter your information in the system. And now we are ready to perform the scan. First, you will need to apply ultrasound gel to the patient. Always make sure that you apply plenty of gel. As you can see, I'm applying substantial gel. This is due to the fact that if you do not, you will get a light scan, which will give you inaccurate readings. When positioning the probe, always make sure that the probe is positioned towards the head of the patient with the button facing upwards. At this point, you want to locate the pelvic bone first, and then you go two finger widths above the pelvic bone, and then start to place your probe. As you'll notice, the button is facing towards the head of the patient. This is the correct orientation for the probe. One of the nice features about using the scan is you can actually hold the button down and get a live image as you can see displayed on your screen. Once you feel that you have an accurate image of the bladder, release the button. This will allow 12 captured images of the bladder. That will then calculate the accurate volume the bladder contains. Once you have obtained the first scan, it is always suggested you perform a second scan. This enables you to validate that the accuracy of the first scan is within 10%. As you notice, while the scan is occurring, you are hearing a beeping sound. It is always important never to move the probe during this sound. It is taking 12 separate images of the bladder during this time. If you move the probe, you will get an inaccurate reading. As you will see, the volume at the top has a green arrow next to it. This represents the last scan performed. It also represents this was the largest volume calculated. Had it been a lower volume, it would be lower down in the list. Now that we have finished scanning the patient, we are able to print the scan on the internal thermal printer. By going to the bottom of the screen, simply click on the print button, and the thermal printer will start to generate a report for you. Once the printer has generated a report, you will see you have an image of the scan. You'll also have the patient data, time, and date. Now we can go to the Setup button. By clicking on Setup, it will take you to another menu. At the top of the screen, the first option you'll find is the Gain option. This is always going to be set to a default of 20. Do not change this setting. The second button is going to be Time, which allows you to change your time of your current location. The third button is going to be hospital or your practice name. You can actually change the name of your practice. The next button is print. Normally it's set on just to print a bladder image. You can actually print multiple images. We suggest that you keep it as a default setting. Next is power. This is determining when the system will actually power off for you. One of the nice features is due to the short boot time, you can set it to power down after five to six minutes of inactivity. This will obviously save the battery life. The battery life is around five to six hours based upon standard use. And the last button we will use is the sound button. This enables you to turn off the beeping sound of the probe when it is activated. I suggest once again, leaving it on, that way you can make sure to maintain the correct position of the probe during its scan feature. The system can be cleaned using a regular sani wipe or any kind of soft solution. Do not soak the machine. 
Here are some key points to ensure proper scanning. Apply an ample amount of gel on the patient's abdomen, two fingers above the pelvic bone. Position the probe at a 45 degree angle aimed toward the patient's anus. Apply a good amount of pressure and keep pressure consistent until the scanning phase is complete. Thank you for watching the video overview of the PortaScan 3D ultrasound system. If you have further questions, please refer to the owner's manual or call 1-800-333-1039 to speak with technical support. To order library approved supplies, call 1-800-522-6743.